Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, All right. Let's see. They didn't need a lot. They did it! Oh, yeah. 170.645 from Cavalier Autonomous Racing in the University of Virginia. That, folks, was an amazing lap, especially after following a car that had an incident, then a stoppage, and then going out and pushing the envelope like that, Rob. And they're still going. They're still on. They're, <laughs> they're trying to get more. a little bit faster at 171. They crossed the yard of bricks over 180 miles an hour here as they came in front of us. So, uh, but they're a little bit slower down the back. We'll see. They're at, you know, 170 through the corner again. This one is going to be close. They're going to be really close, I think. Again, they definitely didn't stop pushing. Oh, driving a beautiful this pattern. Sure. This, this, uh, this robot in the coating is driving absolutely beautiful lines. I expect this is probably their last lap to go. To time it up 181 miles an hour there as it crosses the stripe. There it is. 171, 0, 1, 1. They just continue to open it up. What a lap. What is up? It's your boy Garage Guy Chase. I'm back. Look, I, I uh, it, it's been winter time. I took some time off of videos for like two weeks because I just started this YouTube channel. And by the way, thank you for stopping by if you saw this video. Um, yeah, what you just watched, a very brief clip, was a uh, was not just a, an Indy car at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. No, what you saw was a, a, a robot car. It was a car that no one was driving. It went 171 miles an hour, and I don't see the fucking point. I, I really don't. So we're just we're just gonna get right into it. We're talking all about. Artificial Intelligence, the Indy Autonomous League. Um, I got a lot to say. Let's just start by watching this news video. Even race cars are going autonomous, and they're currently racing on one of America's most iconic tracks. Brian Sullivan is live at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway with more. Brian, I've been saying for years that NASCAR should do this. They should let EVs race conventional cars, race autonomous cars. I love the idea. I think it could actually save the industry. Just got to stop you there, lady. Look, I, you you, you do the news. You've been saying for years. Stick to the news, Gail. I'll stop talking, and I want to hear what you have to say about this. Well, I, listen, as a, as a semi-professional you know, professional racer myself, I might disagree. I like being in the car, even if the accidents hurt worse. This is the Indy Autonomous Challenge. This is amazing. This is the... And even if you don't care about car racing, this is the future of cars, of driving. This is the future of science fairs. Of technology. And you got here's one of the cars. Okay, so we'll tell you zoom in. Look at that. This is Caltech's car. Cal Berkeley was just out on the track. They broke. Yeah, this down is just a science long. fair. The car is kind of limping along here. Twelve universities around the world competing for a one million dollar prize. This you is got, this is this. I know it's a market day. Look, you this got is just credit. You got this Luminar. is just semester Luminar credits. LIDAR, laser radar, Kelly, that helps us drive. What happens here with these cars? Anything that you've got in your own car, Kelly, seatbelts, rearview mirror, anti-lock brakes, all that was developed on the racetrack and then brought to Detroit and put in our cars. The same thing is going to happen here. All right, so I'm going to stop it right there before we continue watching this CNBC video. And I just want to say that, you know, I have my opinions on artificial intelligence. I've been working with artificial intelligence technology now for probably going on a year and a half in depth, about a year and a half now. A little fact that a lot of people may not know about me is that I have been heavily infatuated with artificial intelligence since I was a very young child. Um, the only good thing that comes from this is what the what homeboy just said was the technology that you see on the track is technology that will get implemented into cars that's what this should be and that's where it should stay okay we don't need a world where there's just these race cars and college students are are random people Shit, by 2035, a hobo is going to be able to run an AI application agent. Let's not, let's, let's not be, you know, uh, l l let's not get too science fiction here. It's, there is a sense of reality to it if you understand computers. 
But the thought of this becoming a form of racing, legitimate racing, is is what I'm going to kind of dive into once we finish this up. I just, thanks for letting me interrupt. I, this is a very natural video. I'm just letting it go. I'm not editing this at all. You're just, you're here with me in the International Chase Station right now. And this challenge on its third year now, 12 schools around the world competing for a $1 million prize, bragging rights, Kelly, and no doubt, the PhDs that are standing behind us from UVA is here, Virginia Tech, where are you? UVA is here. <laughs> the PhDs that are here making this work, no doubt are gonna be some of the women and men that create the technology that literally drive the future. These are the best of the best. So I think it would just be interesting, Brian, I know safety is an issue, but let's see a gasoline powered car up against an EV, up against a Waymo. You know what I'm saying? Like you could actually bring yep. real Look. competition and a real race back to these sports. Or you could just watch Le Mans. This is cool. Stay on me. This the UC Berkeley car got running again. This is a real Indy car. Delara chassis. Look, no driver. Look at that. Look at. <laughs> th there's no driver know. in there. There's, this is not. This is not it's Kelly. Kind of this is not along. remote. Yeah. I want to be clear. I know it had a problem. <laughs> this is not remote control. There's not a human like controlling like a video game. This is literally the software, the AI brain, left drove around had some kind of problem but because the computer ain't talking to me i don't know what it is so Need this is not chief. like yeah. some remote control video game there's no remote control this is a software program developed by the schools that drive the bar is just the, the the part of me that is just like an editing freak just i love the fact that they had the car coming by and then you have indie autonomous challenge just we're co completely covering up the car from where the angle of the camera is i'm going to shut up now i have the car <laughs> on its own it's so a great idea cnbc going 180 miles an hour we're going to be here all day and uh i'll try to tweet out i know it's a, of course the more whenever the more interesting story you have is the market <laughs> goes down you just gotta zed it you don't tweet it you zed it all right that's all i'm gonna really show you from there i feel like you guys get the gist of this situation i feel like you understand the situation a little bit now as a science fair project, like I was saying before, yeah, this is great. As a real form or replacement of racing, you're out of your fucking mind. Drivers have personalities. Drivers, human beings that push themselves to a limit of excellence that is is barely achieved by the, 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 the top 0.1% of human beings on earth. That's why we watch this. Now, of course, we, I like to watch racing for the cars. I like to watch, you know, especially IndyCar. It's a sexy fucking car. I know everybody's ready for a new car. The Delara is sexy as fuck. It is a good looking car. We love it. There's a million reasons why you might watch racing. Watching a car drive itself around a track is not one of them. Now, somebody did put in a comment to me and said... If they get them going to like, you know, like 260 plus, then I'm going to watch. I mean, fuck yeah. You get them going at speeds that are unsafe for humans right now or that a lot of people deem unsafe. Yeah, I mean, you get them, get them, get them fucking hovering off the ground, dude. That's, I'll watch it. That's the only time it would be acceptable is when it's doing something that a human is not capable of doing. That's when it becomes a sport of its own, its own thing. This is not that. I, I The only thing that this is good for is for developing this technology, and that's as far as it goes. I, I, I don't know how I stumbled upon it. It, it, it. I'm glad I stumbled upon it because I want to get more involved in things like this. I want to see a world where AI does get into racing deeper than it already is, and it's been here for a while. Even if you don't think AI has been in racing for a while, it's been in racing for a good long time now. Okay, data is a big deal. And I think a lot of us know that. I know a lot of the IndyCar fans that watch Speed Street, a lot of the, of, of the IndyCar fans subscribe to this channel here. I know you guys are on top of your game and you're on top of your shit when it comes to what the ins and outs are of this sport. You know, NASCAR fans that are out there, you may not know as much about this AI shit. I don't know what there is to say but the one thing i do know 
is that a driver is meant to be in a race car. Find a way to make the AI work with the driver and the car. And you're going to get a style of racing that will genuinely change the world. And it is something that I want to be in pursuit of as well. This right here, I would like to attend it just mainly to meme. Um, I, I would love to make a troll, some troll content uh, at this event right here. I mean, this is a science. This is technically a science fair. Uh, this, is, uh, th this is math club. This is arithmetic group. 101 um and they just happen to be doing it at ims i don't know i wanted to make a youtube video this has been something on my mind i did it in a way that is very uh maybe sporadic but this is just i wanted to make a youtube video where it was just me seeing something as it comes no script i'm saying things that are coming out of my mouth i just wanted to be genuine with you guys and i want to know y'all's thoughts on this whole autonomous racing league thing I want to know what your thoughts are on artificial intelligence. Let's talk about that. I don't have enough people in my life that want to sit and nerd out with me over AI. So if you're one of those people, let's talk. I need more friends. Get on X. I need more AI interested friends in my life. You could be that today. I want to work with more of these people. I want to know who they are. I want to talk to these nerds. I want to learn. I want to learn what it took for them to, to, to achieve at this science fair that they're at right now. Or they were three months ago. And then I want to take that information and I want to, and I want to give it to cars with drivers and teams with drivers. You will never ever find a way to take drivers out of cars in racing i'm sorry the only way that will be accomplished is if you're able to make these son of a bitches go 350 demolition derbies honestly that is what this is for this should be demo derbies i want to put artificial intelligence inside of demo derby cars and host futuristic demo derby Mad Max style events. Don't steal my idea. That's what I'm going to do with this technology. Get ready. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Those were mine. I love y'all. I'm ready for racing. I fucking miss it.